Well, we really pitched uh, and played great defense today. No free passes, uh, not one walk, one error. Defense was outstanding. Um, Got to give Jacob Hennessy and Ryan Miller a uh, tremendous amount of credit. Played nine innings of baseball today. They threw 115 pitches. I think I think that's the best of the year. I think that's the lowest pitch count for a nine in the game. I'm not sure. I know Hennessy will know that. The other Hennessy um, had early home runs uh, by Teodosio uh, and Beer. Um, and one of the keys uh, I felt like, even though we did not swing the bats particularly. Um, well today, or, or not as good as we would have liked to at least, um, and we faced some good arms uh, today in Curry and Daytok. Uh, we were able to get into the bullpen early. We were able to get Curry out after five. I think he threw over 100 pitches through five innings. So, you know, we put together some pretty good at-bats and fought some pitches off and drove the pitch count up. Uh, we were just unable outside of those two home runs to deliver, you know, the big blow. Uh, but that being said, uh, we were able to get uh, one of their better relievers in Daytalk in the game and uh, probably burn him for the weekend. So it's just, again, even when you don't score a bunch of runs, if you can fight pitches off and fight pitches off and get into the bullpen, it pays dividends for you. And hopefully it will uh, tomorrow uh, having to play two games. Um, you know, in the eighth inning, uh, Logan Davidson won a leadoff hit. And then Cromwell, uh, when they pulled the infield in, came up with a huge at bat for us there, stayed in the middle of the field, base hit RBI. Uh, so, uh, you know, and it was just enough. Uh, again, uh, Jacob Pennessy, uh, outstanding job against a great offensive ball club. Uh, Ryan Miller did a did a great job at the end of the ball game, and uh, it was enough to get in run third. Yeah, you just got to stay middle in that kind of situation. Uh, I was trying to look for something kind of up in the zone. The last thing you want to do is a ground ball. Uh, tried to look for something up in the zone. Really wanted to just – Try to get something in the outfield. Got a little on top of it, but uh, you know because our coaches always preach to stay in the middle, and stay in the middle of the field, and uh, squeak through. Jacob, do you feel like this is the most comfortable you've been on the mound this season in this game today? I do. I think every outing I've gotten a little bit more comfortable, and uh, kind of hope to keep carrying that on. You know, get a little more comfortable being in those games, going deeper in the games, and uh, so yeah, I feel like I felt really comfortable out there today. Jacob, is there kind of a specific? Pitch sequence you were using batter to batter, or were you pretty much able to, to command all three of your pitches whenever you needed to throw one? Uh, I, I had pretty good command for all three of them. I threw a lot of changeups today, and I know they're a big ready dominant lineup who uh, take big swings, so through the changeup was uh, it was key. Seth, were you a little surprised that he challenged you with that 3 2 fastball? And was that one of those where as soon as it leaves the bat, you just stand and watch it? Um, it was one of those, you know, you can't really rely on that with the wind, so. Um, you know, I was just looking for a pitch, you know, in the zone in a 3-2 count. Um, you know, just worst case, you know, get, up, get on for, you know, Crombie coming up and Chris coming up. But, you know, I was just looking for something in my zone that I could, uh, you know, put a good swing on and, you know, he put it there.